Whoa. Oh. Hit it a little hard there. Oh, look at that. It's pink. Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the National Geographic's Break Your Own 10 Geode Pack. So this comes with goggles, a magnifying glass, two stands, and 10 geodes of assorted sizes. They range from about one inch in diameter to around two to three inches. They come pretty dusty in a bag, so I recommend just taking a toothbrush and running them under the sink. I've washed this one. You can see it's, it's got all the clay and dirt removed. It also comes with a booklet that gives you instructions how to best crack the geodes open, and then a bunch of information about geodes as well as what types of geodes that you might open. So as far as breaking these open, you'll need a couple tools that aren't included. You need a hammer, and I would recommend a chisel. You can get by with a beater screwdriver, which is what I did, that is designed for chiseling. It also helps to have an F-style clamp just to hold the geode in the orientation you want to hit it in, and have a hard surface. I used a thin sheet of MDF on top of my patio so I didn't mark up my patio, uh, but you can do it on a rock, a big rock outside, or something like that too. What you want to end up doing is chiseling along the perimeter in a plane that you want it to break in and do that lightly, light taps. And then when you start to get any separation, do it a little bit harder. Uh, if you really just slam that chisel into it, it's going to fly into a bunch of pieces, which you probably don't want. You probably want to at, at most split it in half if you can. Most of them when I split them, either split into half or thirds or sometimes smaller pieces. Now for the dark gray ones, they were almost all solid and they are extremely hard to break. The tan ones on the outside have tiny quartz crystals and are quite easy to break. Uh, I had to break out a cutoff tool with a masonry blade and get a groove to chisel in. Uh, once I had that done though, these things are phenomenal. These things are beautiful, huge crystals in these gray ones that just fill up almost the entire volume. The tan and irregular shaped ones are absolutely stunning if you get them broken into a large piece. You can see this one goes all the way back and actually the walls on this thing are so thin if you hold this up to the sunlight, you can actually see you moving your hand behind it. So extremely easy to break on ones like these. Uh, which is nice if you've got younger kids that are trying to do this. This is ages eight and up. My daughter, who's four, helped with some of these, and then she just wanted to watch Daddy do it and look at the pretty rocks once they were broken open. So overall, I think this is a fantastic set, whether it's a gift or for homeschool, uh, for young minds who want to learn more about geology uh, and are really interested in crystal growth and rock formations and things like that.